Good morning and welcome to today's reflection. Today's reading is from Matthew 26 verses 36 to the end. Then Jesus went with his disciples to a place called Gethsemane and he said to them, sit here while I go over there and pray. He took Peter and the two sons of Zebedee along with him and he began to be sorrowful and troubled. Then he said to them, my soul is overwhelmed with sorrow to the point of death. Stay here and keep watch with me. Going a little further, he fell with his face to the ground and prayed, My father, if it is possible, may this cup be taken from me, yet not as I will, but as you will. Then he returned to his disciples and found them sleeping. Could you men not keep watch with me for one hour? He asked Peter. Watch and pray so that you will not fall into temptation. The spirit is willing, but the body is weak. He went away a second time and prayed, My father, if it is not possible for this cup to be taken away, unless I drink it, may your will be done. When he came back, he again found them sleeping because their eyes were heavy. So he left them and went away once more and prayed the third time, saying the same thing. Then he returned to the disciples and said to them, Are you still sleeping and resting? Look, the hour is near, and the Son of Man is betrayed into the hands of the sinners. Rise, let us go. Here comes my betrayer. This is the word of the Lord. Jesus went with his disciples to a place called Gethsemane. And he said to them, sit here while I go over there and pray. He took Peter and the two sons of Zebedee with him. And he began to be sorrowful and troubled. My soul is overwhelmed with sorrow to the point of death. Jesus knew that his suffering would have a purpose. He knew that what God wanted him to do and that it had to be done. He is preparing himself for the horror that is going to happen. If we were in this position, would we want the people we love the most to be with us? and support us every day and every step of the way. In the midst of pain and anguish, God wants us to trust and believe in him. In life, we cannot escape pain, sadness, suffering. We have to learn how to cope and respond with it. Blame does not solve any situation. But what we need to do is to trust in God and believe in him. God, so that our suffering is not in vain, from the death and resurrection, Jesus will come. Jesus asked Peter, watch and pray so that you will not fall into temptation. The spirit is willing, but the body is weak. Intense prayer is very difficult. And it's a very difficult discipline to have, spiritually bringing you closer to God. Jesus returns from his agonising prayers to God alone to find his disciples sleeping again for the third time. They were tired with sorrow and sadness that they couldn't physically keep their eyes open. Jesus said to the disciples, the hour is near and the Son of Man is betrayed into the hands of sinners. Jesus knew from the beginning who would betray him and when it would be and when it would happen. Jesus was going to be delivered into the hands of a sinful man and he was going to be arrested. Amen. And now for a short prayer from Philippians 4, verses 6 to 7. Don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. Tell God what you need and thank him for all he has done. Then you will experience God's peace, which exceeds anything we can ever understand. His peace will guard your hearts and minds as you lived in Christ Jesus. Amen.